everybody. Welcome back. It's Gina. Uh, I've got another journal to share with you guys. Um, this is a, a unique kit in that um, if any of you know Linda Israel, uh, she's so talented. Um, she has um, done a subscription box with uh, Calico Collage, Tattered Angels, and Canvas Core brand. Um, so this kit is exclusive to Linda's subscription box and the kit's called Winter Bliss but you can only um, purchase it if, if you subscribe to, um, to one of Linda's subscription boxes. So Linda asked me if I could do a uh, journal showcasing it so I was absolutely thrilled and honored um, that she considered me to, um, to show this. Um, so we'll just get started. Um, everything in here is from the kit, um, you know, except for a few little things I've added to it. But all of the digital images are um, the Winter Bliss. And I'm going to put Linda's um, website in the description below. So if you're interested, you can go to her site and find out more about um, subscribing. So what I've done with the kit, <coughs> excuse me. It's early here, guys, so I'm hoping my, my voice is going to hold out. I've taken um, and printed the book cover page onto uh, the fabric. So if you're interested in learning how to do that, you just look up how to print um, on fabric. And there's lots of people giving uh, tutorials. I just love it. I'm, I'm really enjoying it. So when I saw the kit, I knew this was what I wanted to do with it. So this has been printed onto uh, muslin, and it's just, I'm hoping that the camera's picking up. It is a gorgeous, gorgeous kit to work with. Um, there's so much <clears throat> texture to the, the pages. It, it's just beautiful. Really pretty, pretty kit. So on the front, I've just <clears throat> added this little um, metal embellishment that says Believe. I've stitched that on so that's not going anywhere. This is some uh, vintage trim I've got and then it's just been tied with some seam binding. So inside, isn't it just a gorgeous kit? Look at the pages and I don't know if you guys can see uh, the background has got um, some writing it's, it's just so pretty. I really like this kit. Um, on the front, <clears throat> I've stitched in. This is one of the cards that comes with it. It says the journal belongs to. I've done some stitching around that. Um, this is one of the pockets. I took some cardstock, ran it through the embossing, and then I fussy cut. This is an image from the kit, so I fussy cut that, added to it. Um, I cut out a snowflake here. I wanted there to be a lot of... Um, I mean, the pages have so much texture, but I wanted it to be a really tactile um, journal, so I've added a lot of laces and, and die cuts throughout. So here I've just done a little, this is one of the um, tags from the kit, so I've just cut that out, added some vintage trim. I went to a um, antique show and um, a flea market here yesterday. I've been wanting to get to this one. This was the last one for the year, so I managed to pick up some really nice um, old trims, and you'll see that throughout, and this is one of the pieces from that. Here, <clears throat> I've taken some uh, quotes from the Edith Holden that related to December, and I've stitched that in. It's doily. This is one of the tags from the kit. Love that. So sweet. And then just some eyelash trim. This is one of the pockets from the kit. Give you a close up. And then I just did this little, this is some of my die cuts I've dug out. And uh, and then this is one of the sheets. I, I printed the sheet onto some cardstock and then on the back I've stamped that. Yeah, I really enjoyed this. You know, some kits, um, you can just go on and on. I really f struggled to stop adding and adding to this journal because it, there's just so much you can do with this. I love this page. 
you'll see I've used this page a few times throughout the journal um, and I've, I've put it on paper and on cardstock and here I've made a pocket with it. This is another of the tags from the kits. I've added some um, vintage trim I had, stitched that on. This is one of the journaling cards from the kit. This is uh, one of my music sheet pockets. It's a double pocket. goes through to the other side. Now this is some of the old trim that I picked up yesterday here. And then I've just put some buttons to it. And this is a piece of the um, ephemera from the kit. So there's nothing in that pocket. But you'll see there's a lot of journaling tags and uh, cards throughout. So here is one of the big tags from the kit. I've just done some stamping up here. I love that saying, a snowflake is winter's butterfly. I love that. Did some stitching around here. Aren't those fox so sweet? This is just a page from Edith Holden. And like I said, I, I made sure that everything was relating to December. Um, so all of the sayings will coordinate with that. Here, um, these come in the kit. She's got quite a few um, words. I've just made a little tuck spot up there, and then this is one of the sheets, and I did, just did a little bit of stamping on there, rounded the corners, so that's another little journal card there for you. Another piece of the Edith Holden. Here is another journaling card from the kit, and then this is just a little mini Rolodex um, that I've cut out, I've stamped on it, and then this is some of the, um, you get a whole sheet of little images to cut out, so. This is some old book page. Um, here's some trim. Um, this is what I'm talking about with all of the texture within the design. It's beautiful. And I love the colors because Blue is very difficult to find um, for Christmas, and I, I, I just I really like blue. I mean, I like traditional as well, but this kind of combines both, which is great. Um, here I've got uh, this is one of the little library pockets and uh, tags. Love that. So I've just kept that as a floating pocket. You could certainly glue it down if you wanted. This is a piece of the handmade paper, so if you want to do any uh, watercoloring or mixed media, you could do that on there. And then this is some of the tickets that you get in it. I've just cut those out because I thought you could do some journaling on the back. Those have been tucked there. Here I've made a pocket or a tuck spot with um, with some of them. And this is another of the, the large journaling cards. Love that image. <clears throat> Absolutely stunning. Here's another little journaling card I've made. And then this is one of the journaling cards from the kit. Beautiful. Here I just took a uh, thin envelope I've had and I added some more of that uh, paper on the front and back so you could journal and then inside I created this long tag so you've got even more journaling that you can do there. So that flips out. Like I said those journal sheets are just so pretty. Norella's done a beautiful job. Well she does with all of her kits but um, this one I really I just love the blue. I'm so um, grateful that I got to work with this. This has been a lot of fun. Another of the pockets. Some more little vintage trim. And then this page you can see lots of space to journal. Um, this one I've just recently got some of this. This is not vintage trim but I thought it was beautiful. Um, so I've added that there and created another little tuck spot and then this is um, it's like a wallpaper sample so it has a really nice texture to that a bit more trim and then I've just 
included this image. I thought it went along nicely with it. It's just a um, Christmas card here. I thought that's a nice journaling spot. Here I've done a little fabric pocket. I thought that went nicely with it. My stash, I dug that out. It's amazing what you find when you start going through things. It's another little mini Rolodex card that's been stamped and fussy cut. This is the center of the signature. Beautiful images. Love this one. Now here I've done a fussy cut snowflake and it's um, just been put down on this pocket. This is the, another of the big tags that um, come with the kit. Some stamping on that. This is another uh, Project Life card I found in my stash. Fabric pocket here. Another little journaling card with some stamping and then another of the little Rolodex. This is the back of that Christmas card, so I've just um, taken one of the fussy cuts so you've got a nice little tuck spot there if, um, if you want to put something over that. And then you can obviously journal in the back here. This is another of the Edith Holden. Love those. Some more vintage trim. Here I've just made a little fabric tip in, and this is some very old trim that I got um, at the flea market. I love that. I thought that was really pretty. So you got, you've got two little layers of that. As you can see, there's lots of room for journaling or adding some photos from, do a lot with it. Here's an alteration tag and another of the journaling cards. And this, I've just done a little um, doily tuck spot there. Added another die cut. And same on the back here. Another journaling card. And then this is another tuck spot there. And a journaling card I've put in. Lots of stitching throughout this journal, as you can see. Look at that page. Isn't that sweet? Here's some more of that handmade uh, cotton paper. Another fussy cut tuck spot. Some trim. Um, this is just a little tuck spot I made and I put one of the fussy cuts birds, uh, Blue Jay, in there. So you could, it, you could put that in the journal or to use it as just a little journaling spot. Here's another journal. These are both from the kit. Love those. I miss the cardinals. Um, I don't have cardinals here, and I really do miss them this time of year, so it's, this has been nice to have <laughs> this kit. Um, another little piece of the youth holding. Here's another tuck, tuck spot I've created. Added some eyelash trim there and did a, a little die cut snowflake. And there's that page, beautiful. Uh, here I've just done a little altered paper clip and then I added a couple of the little tickets in this. Um, this is one of the Tim, Tim Holtz dies and then that's a little snowman. Now this one I just thought it would be cute to put some photos so I've just clipped that in there and that's on an Edith Holden uh, book page. Uh, ledger paper, Edith Holden, and then this is another of the really long journaling cards. I love that. So pretty. And one of the library cards that comes with it, and then um, another of the tags. This is the pocket. I love the lined paper in this. Beautiful. And then this is the other side of the music sheet pocket there. So you've got lots of places to put things. And here I've just done, out of the journaling card, I made that into a little tuck spot. There's another little journal card. These come with the kit, so I've cut that out and then just added a little uh, die cut there and did some stamping on that. 
another pocket. Yeah, this is just a recipe card, a fussy cut, added that to it. So you can put your favorite recipe in there. This is from the kit. And then another little Rolodex. It says Merry Christmas. And then we're at the back of the journal. Um, here I've just added a belly band and then like I told you I used this this sheet. This is on printer paper and then I've just cut it up, stitched it some, to some craft cardstock and made like a little um, notepad that you could uh, tear off and use as your little Christmas and grocery list and then you can always um, just create another one and refill it. So I thought that was nice because then you, you've got, always got something that you can use and you don't have to worry about, you know, using up these pages. So that's the back of the journal. Pretty big journal. It's uh, one signature, 68 pages front and back, and it measures five and a half by eight and a half. So there you go, guys. Uh, beautiful kit. So uh, if you're interested in it, the link will be below. I appreciate everybody stopping by. I hope everybody's having a good start to the week. And uh, I guess everybody's getting ready for Christmas now. I managed to get all my decorating done. So hopefully the next week I'd like to try to do some baking. So we'll see. I always have lots of plans, but it's whether I can get around to doing them. That's the question. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a good uh, week, and I will be back soon. Take care. Bye.